rewind the tape about three years ago. One day I woke up and like every other day I was completely and severely overweight. Um, I remember vividly how I once came up to the gym only to find myself a few minutes later uh, weighing myself to find out that I was 285 pounds. So I completely refused to be the fat guy in the gym and um, I left. I left the gym. I perhaps did a tumble or a curl and I left the gym. Um, I remember how uh, sometime before I tried to go into the gym and the person that was supposed to be my trainer, because uh, ha what happened is I went to LA Fitness, right? So in LA Fitness, you get a membership, and once you get a membership, they try to get you into a training regimen with them, uh, which is very expensive, I think, I mean, for what they actually do. So they try to shark you for a regimen with them to to like to buy a regimen with them um so they called me the day after i got the membership and they were like yeah so would you like to get a free training session i was like yeah absolutely i remember this lady this personal trainer was super aggressive and uh, um, i mean she probably me sacó la mierda there's a saying in mexican me sacó la mierda which is she basically made me suffer throughout that whole hour. Uh, squats, everything that you can think of. Everything that you can think of. Um, after that training session, I was exhausted. I, I felt like crap, to be honest with you. And uh, so she set me in the little desk and at that moment, I was completely, I mean, I was done. I was completely done. I was like, what the hell is this? I don't know. Is this the gym? How is it? Is this how the gym is supposed to be? And uh, she sat me there and she told me this exact words. If you don't hire me, you're going to have diabetes. If you don't hire me, you're going to die. What would you do if someone tells you that? I mean, now I see it as a personal training and everything else. If you're fat, it's just a lack of knowledge. Because uh, it's pretty simple. It's not that deep. Uh, you don't need a personal trainer. You don't need a personal trainer to lose weight. Let me repeat that. You don't need a personal trainer. You don't need to do a hundred complicated and super complex exercises to lose weight. To lose weight, you need to spend more energy than you actually consume. That's basic science. That's it. Uh, but on that very day, I felt like my freaking life was a mess. Honestly, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was working as a buster back then, so I didn't like. I didn't have the the financials to back up for what she was asking for. So she started asking so many freaking questions. And she started asking, so let's, what do you do for a living? I was like, uh, I am a server, because I didn't know. I didn't want to tell her that I was a buzzer. So, so she started asking me, how much you make? How much you make? Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, do you make, can you make 200 bucks a month? Can you pay me 200 bucks a month? I was like, uh, uh, I don't know, because obviously I didn't have the money. But at this moment, I feel like crap. Uh, first and foremost, it was like my fourth month here in the United States. So I felt like, honestly, like crap. Like, I am poor, I am freaking fat, and uh, honestly, feel like fat. 
uh, but my point is you don't need a personal trainer or anyone to tell you which exact steps to lose weight it's not a, a major science I don't think that um, personal trainers or anything like that uh, yeah if you're training for a competition something like that if you're training for a sport yeah you need uh, like someone to uh, push you to the limits but um, when it comes down to the very beginning the very basics of losing fat and you don't need a personal trainer that's my honest thought especially if you're in the beginning because what happens is you're gonna get a personal trainer you're gonna tra train maybe once or twice per week you're gonna pay them six hundred dollars but that's one or two hours a week what are you doing the other six days out of the week that's what matters what are how, how much energy are you consuming how much energy are you putting out that's what matters at the end of the day but um at that moment that obviously didn't know any of this i was completely overweight so it was pretty tough um so i left and i sat on my car and um i sat there for a good 20 or 30 minutes just trying to get back my breath uh, get back on my breath and i just felt hopeless and i had this strange belief that no matter what i did I could never lose the weight because um, I had started through a couple of diets and I thought that you had to eat super clean that's another mistake um, but I thought that you had to eat super clean and uh, since I tried to count calories once and like it didn't work it was never going to work um, but yeah but you probably know this but one day I just woke up and I said to myself, you know what, let's go out for a run today. 